Putting the bat around a hand pivot point. I'm known to create different drills that create the feelings we want to feel, and these drills look weird and they get highly criticized. I'm okay with that. What I haven't found yet is someone who criticizes the look of one of my good hitters, the resulting swing. I get heavily criticized the drills that led to that swing. That makes no sense. If the drills led to a swing that you like, but you criticize the drills, you're a moron. Okay? Here's one of the drills I like. I call it the helicopter drill. I put the bat right above my head and it's flat to the ground. And I want to feel, torque the handle, and stretch of my body and my leg turn. I'm one-legged, by the way. This is, this is two-legged. This is one-legged, okay? I'm one-legged and I'm pivoting the leg. I'm pivoting the bat around a hand pivot point. And then I'll ask them to do it from their shoulder. Same thing, don't let the arms get active. If the arms get active, you're pulling away from the pivot of your body, okay? This is the fused body, taking all the energy that comes out of the body and applying it right into the handle. It's not doing something else where the hips or the body or the legs are moving and it's not being felt as a pivot at the handle. Everything we do, the moment we do it, has to pivot the bat. It can't pull it forward, it can't push it forward, it can't let it stay still, it has to pivot the bat. So this helicopter drill gets them a good feeling, drop it to your neck, and notice all these swings are at high balls, but you get a feeling, and then you get into your stance, and you get the same feeling in a more game-like position, and you've got something that can really work.